Tooltip loading into this just told me, do not upset the Pope, he may excommunicate you. Usually by the time you become big enough to actually upset the Pope in any meaningful way, you're also kind of big enough where excommunication doesn't mean all that much anymore. So, as a good tip game, it doesn't apply all that much to me. Right, let's see. Um, relationships improved. I don't remember what we're doing. <laughs> right, right. Trading cities, trade posts. That's what we're doing. So let's check the trade post map. Oh. Oh no. No, our creation friends are not gone. It's just that this trade zone now has two owners. Us and them. So it doesn't show up anymore. I thought for a second that maybe... Just maybe. Croatia might have lost the post. This one is the one we seized before. Just to muddle with the fares even more out here. Alright. Dear Croatia. You have raised armies or levies? Where? Yeah, I know. Now I remember. See, I knew that would happen. I 100% knew it. I knew I would load back into this game and would forget that I sent this army to deal with this. I know myself well. <laughs> My goodness. It's a good thing I remembered. Newland. Let's stand these guys down so we can deal with Croatia. Clear. Ah, still a truce. Pisa. Where do you have trade posts? Only down there? Oh, they go up to here, I think. No, this is all. Where's Pisa? This is Pisa. This is Pisa. So Ameria is this is the closest Pisa. No, there is one more. Tangier. Is this Amalfi? Amalfi, however, is subject of the Holy Roman Empire and I'm not going to fight those again anytime soon so Pisa it will be and we want the yeah why not let's let's get Tangier how do they not own this zone it's probably two different families from Pisa and they didn't build one here Crazy, because this one is attached to a trade route and the ones that are attached to trade routes are usually much more expensive we declare war over that from there dear Pisa I would like to talk to you about your trade post in the pretty land of Tangier Please send me your answer via letter or mail at your earliest convenience. Alright, so our retinue is probably enough to fend off any troops that might come. But just in case, we're going to leave a few men behind here. A few more maybe. Can't split these. And split these. These down. Let's get our ships. Who we will definitely also split. Let's put these on the ship. And these on the ship. How do I know that they are not my retinue? Because my retinue are the only ones who have a normal, acceptable grouping size. And we'll stand down all these other levies that were raised for no good reason. Well, we're going to leave the Venetian troops up because you never know. Pisa might get weird ideas about Venezia. So we'd rather be prepared. 
But I am expecting. And this man will probably tell us to where he is. I'm expecting him either not doing anything about us or coming for our island. Because he's involved in so many wars right now. What is he going to do about us? Oh, look at all that income. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at all these plagues, smallpox is happening here. I don't fear that too much. Probably should. Some proper fear of gone. Once we park here, we should see them drive by if they ever do. Fine. Let's get our troops off the boat. We will be on the sideline. Supporting our siege master, leading this stuff. We're a bit old. When will our next son come of age? Six years. Ugh. Nine years. This one here will probably become our new heir. Let's put a focus on him. Nation troops. Us. Hey, okay, that's no problem. We're just here for the trade post. Once we got it, we're leaving again. Okay, England has instituted free investiture, doesn't really matter to us. Let's get this trade post as well. Who are you? Ostates shall be burned. Uh, for some reason, I cannot take this trade post from Pisa. Okay then. Let us just attack their main city directly. And let's watch real quick where he is. He's leading troops here, which means he potentially is loading he them up. Luca. I think he's just involved in further wars. That don't really have anything to do with us. Or he's just leading these. No, he can't be just leading these. That would be crazy. Where is Luca? There. He's leading something here. Which I don't like all that much because I don't see them right there. Our son is getting fat. Stop getting fat. Let's get our spy master down here because... Uh, I'm not too happy with not seeing what's going on there. All right. So even if they do decide to attack us, we have the number su superiority. I don't know who that is, so he can go. Let's check real quick on the war score. I think this just goes with uh, trade post control. Ooh, what do we have? Ooh, ooh, ooh. More trade practices. Higher trade post limit. Where are we at anyway? Can we push this with trade post limit? I have a feeling that the answer is no. I want to take care of this guy, but he's going to die before our nephew. Or us, hopefully. Well, we're pretty close in age. So trade post limit really doesn't matter all that much, but look at all that nice taxation increase. 
Ah, that's another 7.5% from trade value. That's very attractive. Let's check at home real quick. At home, I said. So if we want to upgrade our court or our port. We need trade practices 6. Cities and temples. The trade practices would be 6. Let's do that. And now we should be able... Greater than six. Greater or equal. Can't I count? Yeah, that's five. That's not six. Oops. Okay, I cannot count apparently. But there's another... No, there's no more technology we can do. Mm, how's our great work coming along? We should upgrade more. There's another 5% local tax modifier, I believe. Does this count everywhere? Because siege pl speed plus 15% everywhere would be crazy good. And plus 50% galleys. Levy size. Let's, let's go with the military wharf. And see, maybe it works. Is our steward doing the right thing? Yes, he's constructing stuff. He's still looking to build a great work. Okay, he's now moving troops around. Let's move our ships up so we can see him. For a little longer anyway. Now he's raising ships. Now he's getting ready to deal with us. Yeah, he's getting on the boats. We shall also get on the boats. Alright. We'll sail down here because I have a feeling they might go there instead of to our primary location. Since I knew that something like that would happen and we got some men left behind, we will just take these to take care of that. Well, let's watch him do something. You have to do battle to him, otherwise he is not going to take... Oh no. We get scurvy. Let's see how bad it turns out. Bedridden. It's the worst option of the ones that we could have gotten. Oh no. Let's pay back the Knights Templar. I think we just donate. I, I think. Do we just donate? Okay, so his ships have not appeared here, so I expect him to arrive over there real quick. Get these over there to help out. Also our ranks a little. And I think we can bring these back home too. The closest city anyway, we can just bring them here. Maybe take care of the scurvy. Aren't we? No. We're incapable, so we're not leading troops right now. We should be home, shouldn't we? There are ships. Since we control all these and our trade posts are upgraded high enough, we get sight on this. Low level trade posts do not give you sight on things. Oh, thank god. We have survived scurvy. We can now lead again. Let us. Let us show them the follies of their ways. 
just wanted to make sure we have some leaders in this army. And we do. But where are they going to go? Here. Did I discourage you? Oh, that was an error. That was a mistake. Now he's going to go back home. Probably. I shouldn't have discouraged him. That wasn't good. We caught this guy. See, we don't have sight on this trade post. Or this trade post. Because it's not upgraded far enough. I think it has to be trade enclave on level 2 or something. Then you get sight. I didn't know that. Now I do. Let's check through our stuff. I don't want to upgrade cities right now. Ah. Oh, bad one city anyway. Go through our merchant ports. We have money again, so let us spend it wisely, obviously. Okay, that's enough for now. And these guys are going back on the ships. I do expect him to turn up down here somewhere. Where is he going? Little for our retinue and take these 500 and follow him. Maybe we can catch him. Know where he's going to bring his troops. Since he's not leading, I can't spy on him. Ah, he's leading there, that's not helpful. Gulf of Lyon, okay, so he's somewhere there. Let's find him. There he is. Where is he going? Oh. Okay, let's pick up our Venetian brethren. So we can win this fight, 10 out of 10. And bring big these troops, we can stun them down, or you know, bring them to the closest city wheel, which is there. Oh no, he's retaking my siege. Whatever will I do? We'll just land here and walk over there. That way we have a lot of time to regain our... ...morale for the troops. And we're gonna put in aggressive leaders because we are actually attacking. So we don't get a defensive penalty. And we have him dead to rights, unless of course he moves now, so let's bring our ships around real quick. Yep, he moved. Damn it. We weren't quick enough. They might be coming back to us. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's coming back. Hello there. He raised us some mercenaries to fight. That's practical. Well, thank you. I appreciate your cooperation in this. It was very unexpectedly generous of you. 
That was... That was teamwork we made there. Look at that. Dung gear. Everyone's getting sick. Looks like there's a pandemic going on. Well, that was good. We might be out of the truce with Croatia now. These guys down. Are we out of the truce with you? Yes, we are. Well, isn't that fantastic? And we want to fight over this trade post. Yes, indeed. That is what we would like. Let's have some war lady all right so we do the same thing over again and you know the drill split our troops a bit so we have various opportunities with our military capabilities we are not hamstrung i want to split the ships these are too many ships don't need all that many ships. Alright. Off we go to take that trade post here. Ah, oh, big shame. Let's see. Grand Prince Georg II has given up his ghost at the age of 59. He died a natural death. Because of the unfortunate circumstances of his birth, many doubted the legitimacy of George's rule. He has now found peace from the slander and death. Grand Prince Ragnar, a confiding and patient man, Ragnar is convinced that good things will eventually come to him. Long live Grand Prince Ragnar. Okay. Uh, sure, he can posthumously become proud. Let's see. What are we good at? Not at leading troops, so not leading troops. We don't have a wife, we don't have children, we don't have an heir, we don't have anything. That's fantastic. Let's let's pick an heir. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. These are not going to work. Okay. Okay, we need to produce children. And since we're depressed, there's a good chance we might not be able to produce children quickly enough. So, seduction it is. Not the absolute ideal thing. But, otherwise we're going to lose the... The Empire, once more. We do have our lovely kingdom now, so we would probably retain the kingdom titles, or at least one. Let's see. What are we supposed to lose? The Principality of Finland, Most Serene Republic of Venice, all the things, but not to, to the same people. I don't know how this works. Kinda weird. Alright, uh, quickly let's set the crown focus in Gotland. Let's find a wife. Uh, I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. She's pretty damn good. And 14 is also not much. She's 24 though. So it's not ideal. Let's find someone else who maybe is strong. Otherwise, we're going to go... Ah, that's, that's much better. There are better options here. Oh, this one. Intricate web weaver, shrewd, strong. She's perfect. He is absolutely perfect. Good will be this guy. He is good. Our spy master. Eh. Amazing. And our court chaplain, this man. Now let us do construction. Rain. Ah. Rain. And the rest can just stay as it is. We are in our war with Croatia and our ships are off. Which is good. We do have gained some money through inheritance because this guy already had money. 
Should also earn a little bit more, but we will have less troops available. Because our military skill is just not as great. And now we need to find ourselves a bunch of willing lady friends. So we go for our slot filter. And we... I think we're marrying her anyway, so we don't need to invite her. She is really good. She's homosexual, so probably not the ideal target. She'll be fine. She'll do... Don't mind if I do. Uh, getting a little bit old here, but there's still our own court to look to. Be three to old. Uh, uh, uh. All these old ladies. The wives of people that live here. Auntie Kinswoman. All right. This guy we don't need to check anymore. Very important. Start the seduction with her. And yes, our marriage is everyone's concern. And yes, we will preserve the heirlooms. Very expensive though. We are married now, so new ambition we get, and we want to groom an heir to get all the... Oh, he's a master builder? Local build time, minus 5%. Oh, would you look at that. Okay, our fleet is still on the way. And our lady friends are all joining the court. God. Yes. Get him more to read. What are you? You're a bit dull. Confess. Very good. First lover secured. Saga. Sir. Sure. So we know by now, yes, we keep the trade route running because that brings money into the realm. We know by now that uh, the AI generally doesn't try and retake trade posts that we take. We just really have to wait for them to shale by us. Come on, meet us by the stream and... Uh, love. Work with her. Siege master, please. We will see very soon a creation ship passing by here. Have we taken it? Yes. Eat in our room. Lovely, that usually works. Saga is now one of ours. She's a bit sick, but she'll get over it. Let's seduce the girl with Pneumonia. <laughs> the safest thing to do right now. Okay, lady. You like to lead your troops too, so you're gonna show us where you are. Leading troops in Ponant. So we sail back home. Leave our ships just out here. I know you're doing my acquaintance saga. I don't care. She does. I don't. Okay, let's see my theory be put to the test. Do they actually come here or not?
It didn't work so lewd with her, maybe. Very good. Next lover down. He's actually doing pretty well. Oh, she's lustful, so lewd should be doing the trick. There's a bit of Egypt up here. It's not too confusing because Egypt is still a Christian state. So are you still sailing the seas? Yeah, she's coming. Do suggestion with this one. She was lustful. Good stuff. All right, next one. I cannot seduce her. I don't care, people. You can try and blackmail me all you want, but I am shameless. Utterly shameless. Ah, there's the Croatian, Croatian fleet. And all of us pregnant. We need to make it 16 years without dying. That's gonna be tough. Especially since we're going to upset our wife, probably. Okay. So the Croatians are sending their troops off. To land on our shores. We will land next to them. Not on top of them, next to them. Because then they have less of a reason to do weird things. Right. Win this battle. Go. How are we not? Did I not take it? Oh, I did take it. Why does it not count? We'll just follow her around. Keep defeating her. That should be it. I think she's sending her ships around to potentially pick her troops up. Okay, let's check. Maybe if there are some unmarried ladies in the courts here. fully comprehend oh yes a woman named Gutrid appears very good another lover added for no good reason at all except that the game thinks we should have her okay. how is she doing that lover how is her army so much quicker than mine all the time? Oh no, her house went extinct. That's terrible. People get hurt about having the whole affair thing revealed, but you know. I think that's just... It is what it is, right? We keep defeating the troops. Actually, split our army and put half on the boat again. Because I want to sit on top of that trade post. Oh, a strong boy. There we go. 
and you get a struggle focus and you will become my heir Niklas that wasn't the heir I selected that was some lady person Let's go on to the trade post again. Okay, she sent more troops. We will hunt with our retinue. And another son. Yes, they all become legitimized. Questions here. Okay, they surrender, giving us a trade post, very good. Now let's set down in the nearest city, which is here. And we have 10 trade posts to go, which I think we're going to mainly get, how? Oh. Male family members, our capital does zero, our capital could do something. What would our capital do? Don't know. I don't think there is a building that does anything for that. Upgrade to university plus two. Let's do that. Why not? All right. Let's upgrade some fortifications here. That's fortunate. Where are they? There. Send these guys. Ah. Yeah, yeah. We we'll send these guys. Or ships all over there. Fine. Just check real quick across the map that we don't lose anyone. Look at that. Finland. Next up is going to be Pisa again. Down here. Very happy to take that. Amalfi sadly. Not open for business. Probably a bad idea to take out Venice. Could have seized stuff from them. Arakusa is probably also not independent. The Holy Roman Empire really needs to disintegrate at some point. No, we have suffered a defeat. Mo make a move quickly here. This child lacks a focus. Here, have one. I don't really do anything with Kin's people at this point. I mean, well, wait. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute there. We have this genius here. But she's way older than him. And he's 16. She's going to be 29. Damn it. That's not gonna work. I am great with math things. Let's upgrade our hospital because I feel trying to keep this guy alive is going to take a bit. I do have a new air. I already have that air. Legitimized. We really will need to get rid of our wife, probably. That's that for the rebellion. 59. A natural death. Come on now. That is silly. 51. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's plot and kill this guy to redistribute potentially. Might work. Going back to our old tricks. Slowly, slowly we are finishing this Monarch's journey up. And these troops down, check that we have all of them stood down. That looks fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, look at that income. Before we go and leave it off for tonight. And we'll switch through here. And upgrade a bundle of things. To increase our own incomes. And since we have a lot of money right now, we are also going to spend a lot of money. Not to care in the world. We have spent the better part of 2,000 gold. Let's make it even worse. Cultural tech points, that's not a lot. No, we want the disease resistance. And let's upgrade the port here too. And the toll booth here. The fortifications there. Yeah, now we've burned through almost 4,000 gold in the matter of seconds. It's all going to come back to us. But for the moment, that just is a good chunk. Chunk of money. Oh, they're building more trade posts as well. Our Finnish brothers. That I appreciate. Then Kirka, which is us, is dominating out here. Oh look, an actual real daughter, not a fake one. You become... Humility. Focus, that's what you become. What? Alright! Oh, Alright! Oh, okay, these guys, they belong to us because we... Breed them. I mean... Right, that's fine. Could do another crusade down here in Lithuania, maybe. Nah, we're done for today. Thanks for watching. See you around.